In this video today, I wanted to share my intentions for creating profit, success, and creativity in 2023. I think about how can I achieve success and be creative and have fun at the same time in a sustainable way. Ah, now there is a helicopter. Hello, can we see what's going on? <laughs> oh, okay, wonderful. Here we are. Okay, here we go. We're getting set up here backwards hello and welcome 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 my name is tiffany and let's get straight into it i am still here in sydney i wanted to sit down and share with you how i have created a strategy for success profit and creativity in 2023 if you also desire to blow up 2023 to make epic shit happen watch this video to see how i am going to create success profit and creativity in 2023 Okay, here we are. So much going on. The holidays is such a hectic time. I actually am very, very excited because I have been doing a lot of my own market research and just some downtime and brainstorming when it comes to my online business. It is now a couple of days after Christmas and we are fast approaching New Year's cannot believe it. Tomorrow I'm actually flying back to Bali. I've been here in Sydney for a couple of weeks and it's been an amazing, amazing time. And I'm very excited to get back to Bali because I am going full charge ahead with creating my vision for 2023. I'm going to really be moving and growing my business forward for the new year and developing my skills when it comes to content creation. As we know, there are billions of people using the internet every day and the social media platforms are really saturated there really needs to be a way that you stand out and there also needs to really be consistency when it comes to creating your content now for me I have an online business and one of the big parts of what I do is having to create content to promote my business in order to get sales and in order to get sales I am not only going to be impacting my own financial and professional life however I'm really seeking to impact others as well and in saying that because there are so many different social media platforms today it's really a matter of being super consistent when it comes to creating your content and getting the content out there. My social media strategy for 2023 is going to be shifting into creating a lot more content. I would say overall, I'm quite consistent across my different platforms. I'm getting very, very clear with creating my plan now, my social media marketing plan and to grow my online business. I am affiliated with a high ticket company. I am very, very excited for the new ways in which I am intending to create content. When I think about creating success in 2023 and beyond, I think about being successful in health, wealth, happiness, and creativity. And then when I think about the ways in which I'm going to create that success in those different areas of my life, I think of what are going to be the best ways that I can do that. What are going to be the best ways which I'm passionate about? What are going to be the best ways where I have the most fun? And what are going to be the most sustainable ways to create success in those areas of my life? Wealth, health, happiness, and creativity. I love the fact that I am aligned with an opportunity, my business, that allows me to scale my business by creating content. The most beautiful part about what I get to do is doing something that I'm so passionate about and it's also an opportunity to really create massive growth. And one of the main parts that I can scale my business is by creating content. Now we all know that short form content is on trend and that's really when I say short form content it's video video is highly on trend video is really the most popular way to grow your business product or service or to grow your engagement when it comes to your business and that's specifically when it comes to creating digital content as well really the reason why I want to create my content is to not only grow my audience my soul aligned audience but also to increase sales to then inevitably move into profit, which inevitably leads to what I shared before. It's about creating not only the success for myself, but really being able to impact others to change their lives. 
I have been a content creator for years now and especially when it comes to video. I am so grateful that that passion that I have, I'm able to not only continue to develop that skill, but that skill is actually the number one recession proof skill set that we need in order to scale our business brand and income online. My personal branding is shifting once again, which is the beautiful thing because as you evolve and as your business evolves and as time goes by, our personal branding is going to evolve as well. I am now planning to start a video podcast, to start a podcast. I'm moving in that direction, which is very, very fun. Since I've been home here in Sydney, I've been doing a lot of research about how to start a podcast, how to start a video podcast, how to do a podcast for beginners. What is your video podcast setup? And what do you need to get started? What do you need in order to get started as a podcaster? What do you need to get started for creating a video podcast channel? I've been really focused on my niche and thinking about my audience and all of that when it comes to content creation. And when it comes to my business, my channel is really going to be centered all around entrepreneurship, all around creating mega profit, mega impact, and creating mega fun so you can ultimately be living your most mega dream lifestyle. So my darling, as you are watching this, I am seeking truly to empower you to create content so that you can also have mega success, mega profit, mega purpose, and mega passion in your life. And I love this. I'm just looking at my notes and I've written, I think it's so beautiful. Sometimes I write things and I'm like, wow, that sounds really amazing. <laughs> so what I wrote is that I am truly, my intention here is to create content so that you can build sustainable wealth and shine in your purpose, your dharma. I will also be specifically throughout certain videos, be sharing the affiliate offer that I'm also aligned with. With the research that I've done with starting a video podcast, obviously I have a YouTube channel. What has become really, really popular, and I think in the ways, if I really like take a step back and look at the way that I create content, I very much am a strong communicator and I like to, as you can see, sit down and do talking head videos. I have this mad passion for vlogging as well. I know what's really popular is like the, the dancing reels and, and things like that and I haven't quite gotten into that. As you can see, what's really, really popular is video now, creating video content and it's also short form content. When I say short form, it means content Content that's anywhere under 60 seconds even it can if it can be under 40 seconds or really 15 to 30 seconds max like if you can be creating very impactful and high value content that is less than 15 seconds I mean that you're doing well so far babe <laughs> what I've been researching and what I've been thinking when it comes to like my own what feels good for me and what I'm passionate about and what I'm excited about is creating long form content and that can really be anywhere from you know 8 to 10 minutes all the way from 10 to 20 to 30 even up to like 60 minutes if you wish you know that would be for a long podcast my intention is to create long form content then obviously post it here on my YouTube channel and then also to break that long form content up into smaller pieces of content to put onto your TikTok, your Instagram, to put onto Facebook, to put onto other areas. That is what is going to be very, very popular. That is what is trending now. And that also, when I do the research, that's also what really feels good for me. Because here's the thing, in order to be successful, you've got to be enjoying and having fun. Because if you're forcing to do something that you don't really enjoy, you're not going to have fun doing it. And then ultimately, you're not going to be very successful. And I think also to really run my social media strategy, my content creation, marketing strategy. I'm really, I have some other challenges that I'm going to be actually starting with my team. I have a couple of my business partners in California and then the rest of them are spread out in throughout the different states of the US. And then my accountability team is spread out through the United, United States as well as South Africa. I'm obviously in Indonesia. There is a challenge that I'm going to be doing starting sometime in January. I've kind of already started myself with some parts of my social media content strategy or my really content creating strategy. I'm really seeking to focus on 
creating my content in a certain way and doing this for about at least a minimum of two to three months because only then can I really get the market research of like what is feeling good for me where I'm being like most productive and also to really see you know you as my audience what you are liking and what you're enjoying and what is going to be you know of high value towards you I'm super, super happy. I got gifted for Christmas by my mother and sister, the copywriting course. It's called the Copy Cure and it's from Marie, Marie Forleo. I'm very, very excited because I have been only since like last month and I haven't read that much, but I have started the book, Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Forleo. And she also has a few different courses as you can see from her website. And I'm very, very excited if you haven't heard about Marie Forleo, go Google her, find her here on YouTube, any social media platform. She's amazing. She's an author. She's a speaker. She's super, super successful entrepreneur. And I got gifted by my mom and my sister, her copywriting course, which I'm so excited about because I've never considered myself a writer. However, sometimes I do like to write. And because last month I started some paid marketing strategies, specifically Facebook ads, I was starting to to write longer form content. And I think it's really valuable, a high value skill to have. I think it's a skill that you can develop and improve. You can only get better and better. So I'm excited because of course, it's one thing to of course like freely speak, but it's also another thing to write your blog posts or even write podcast scripts, even write your scripts for YouTube. So writing, copywriting is truly an essential skill when it comes to entrepreneurship. Okay, and the other thing that I'm very excited about, <gasps> Can you see this? I am so excited. <gasps> I got the, I have invested in some new equipment. Oh, and here's the thing as well. Before I start, in order to start your YouTube channel or a podcast or even your Instagram or Facebook, you definitely do not need all the fancy equipment. Basically, if you have a recording device, the majority of us, we all have smartphones we can start a business. And that's the most powerful thing about working online because just get started with what you already have. And most of us, we have a mobile device, which these days, my goodness, the technology, the cameras, the recording systems on these devices is becoming just incredibly next level. And a lot of people say as well, this is a side note when it comes to camera gear, when it comes to tech gear, when it comes to all kinds of digital gear to create your content from, is that people are saying now, especially like I also just recently got the new iPhone, is that our mobile phones eventually going to phase out, you know, our mirrorless or DSLR cameras. When I first got started creating content for my social media platforms, I was just using my phone. I remember I got my first mirrorless camera in 2018. Now I have my Canon camera, which is a mirrorless camera. But before, actually, I had a really nice point and shoot Sony camera, which I've now sold. And then, of course, I have my mobile phone. Whatever device that you have, you just get started doing that. And you can get started creating a video podcast with just your iPhone. You can get started with creating a podcast with just your iPhone. And you can also just get started creating a YouTube channel in 2023 with just your iPhone. For me, because I have been creating content now for a couple of years, I have decided to invest in some equipment. I have invested in... Ah, I've invested in the MV7X podcast microphone. I've read a lot of reviews. I've read a lot of Pinterest blog posts there. I've also watched a ton of YouTube videos. I've watched a lot of reviews on YouTube, of course. And the Shure microphones are very, very popular. A lot of podcasters that I already follow, a lot of YouTubers that I already follow use this. This is also not a tech gear review. When I do start using the equipment after a while, I can give a review, but right now, I just wanted to show you what I got. You can also just use a microphone and plug it into your laptop how to really increase the sound quality and to be able to do more things, especially if you're going to be setting up interviews. <gasps> I have a mixer. Look at this. This is the Rodecaster Pro 2. <gasps> I am so excited. I feel professional already. <laughs> This is an integrated audio production studio. This basically, I will attach my Shure microphone to this via an XLR cable. This is probably familiar with USB-C, the output and input on all the new MacBooks that are coming out. You can actually use the USB-C to connect the microphone to your laptop. This microphone will attach using an X. LR cable, which then will plug into the Rodecaster Pro 2 
mixer. I'm going to be moving into a new apartment, or not really an apartment, a new place when I go back to Bali, hopefully by the end of the month. I will be setting up my home office space. I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a recording studio as well. I need to have a look at the like sound dynamics there and we'll figure that out when I move in. However, there are different ways that you can set up your microphone you can either have it sitting on a stand just on your desk and be speaking into it or i have a studio arm this is also by road this is going to attach onto the desk table whatever i have my desk and then it's going to hold the microphone that is very very exciting <laughs> Actually, I bought this from Store DJ. It's an incredible store. I walked in and I was, it's two levels and there's just all this like equipment. I was like, oh, so excited. I get more excited actually about tech gear than I do about like fancy handbags or <laughs> fancy shoes. I'm the same way when it comes to surfboards. I love like looking at surfboards. It's the same with tech gear. <laughs> yes, I am actually going to go and purchase some headphones. The man was very, very helpful in the store with me and he did say there's a little bit more of a learning curve when it comes to the Rodecaster Pro. This one's also, the Rodecaster Pro 2 is also the newer, the newer model that's come out. My partner, he is a DJ, so he's familiar with like this kind of equipment. And then of course, I will just sit down with YouTube tutorials and learn how to, how to use all this material. But I'm very, very excited because I love giving myself a challenge specifically when it comes to things that I'm passionate about and that's content creation. And I'm excited that I'm going to be able to create content in a different way than I usually have before. Of course, I'm still going to be speaking and communicating and sharing my value and sharing my vision and, you know, sharing all about my you know online marketing and about you know affiliate marketing about entrepreneurship other things that I will be sharing of course as you know with my channel is like mindset lifestyle everything to do with becoming an entrepreneur starting your affiliate marketing business all of that I'm not gonna go into all of that right now just wanted to sit down and obviously you can just follow along and watch my journey as I intend to in the new year start a podcast or a video podcast really i think it's going to be video podcast really the only difference between video podcast and podcast is if you listen to a podcast clearly it's just the audio and then with video podcast you have the visual you get what i'm saying i'm sure you're like on the same boat with me here right now <laughs> okay my friends that is everything that i wanted to share with you today of course i appreciate if you wanted to leave me a comment um, if you've used any of this equipment or any tips in getting started or anything that you would like to share with me Otherwise, I will see you back in Bali and happy holidays. <laughs>